from me on the side. Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Yang Family Tai Chi, Section Two. And today we are going to start kicking. So uh, let's uh, practice from cross hands just to do it as a warm up. Hi, Kiko. And uh, then we'll do a little bit of review for high pad on horse. And then we'll start doing the separation kicks. Okay. So we're starting at cross hands. Shift right, turn the left foot almost to straight. Separate your hands, pull in the right foot, swing step. Separate, uh, <laughs> brush and strike. Roll back. Circle your arms. Weight comes back, turn to the side. Press, pull in the right, detach the left, press out. Push, square up your shoulders almost to the corner, flatten your arms, roll over a ball, hands in front of the chest and push. Fist under elbow, shift weight back, flatten your hands, turn and pull, push down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, Push out with the right. Step with the left to the corner. Connect, step with the right, grab, pivot the left toe, pull down, make your fist, shift to the heel and lift and punch. Step back, repulse monkey. Swing, step, hand to the shoulder, Turn and strike. Two, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Three, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Diagonal flying. Turn, pull in the right foot. Step and close. Open and pivot the left foot. Raise hands and step forward. Pull in the left. Circle your arms. Root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Pull down. All the weight is in the back. Circle your arms. Step and close. Turn. Step and open. Left brush knee. Turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Needle at sea bottom, yield forward, pull in the back foot, pull and sink. Fan through the back, come up, left attaches to the right, Step, separate. Make sure you're straight up and down. Turn body, chop with fist. Circle your arms, turn the left foot. All the way to the left, make your fist. Root, chop, strike. Parry, block and punch. Come to the center, swing, step. Parry, block, punch. Shangbu, open, step your foot out to the left. Pull with the left, ward off with the right. Right ward off. Roll back. Come to the corner, 
shift weight back, come to the other corner, press, pull in the right, attach the left, press forward, push, straighten out to the side, straighten your arms, pull back over a ball in front of your chest, push forward, single whip, shift your weight back, flatten your hands, Turn and pull all the way around. Push down, release the left foot. Make your hook hand with the right, ward off with the left. Standing ward off, step, strike. High pad on horse. Push back with the left heel. Activate your hands. Hand all the way to the back, hand comes to the shoulder, root the right uh, left toe and strike. So we let's- got cloud hands. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let's do cloud hands. Let's go from single whip I was so anxious to get to the next thing. Okay, single whip, cloud hands, shift back. One. Two. Three. and single whip. And now we get to do high pad on horse again. So push back with the left heel and activate your hand. Stand up the right, turn over the left. Shift all your weight to the back. Right hand comes to the shoulder. Root the ball of your left foot and strike. So essentially you're coming from more than corner here. And when you strike, you're going to be square to the front. So you're here, you push back, you come to the shoulder, root, strike. Okay. How did that feel? Are there any questions on that one? Okay, so the next move is separation kick. And it is the first kick. Uh, there are essentially three kicks that we uh, do in the form, two of which we would do in this section. So the next move is separation kick left and right. And that's all of the separation kicks there are. All the other ones are heel kicks. And the difference between the separation kick and the heel kick are, the separation kicks go toward the corner. The heel kicks all go to the three o'clock and nine o'clock. So they both start from the same position. That is, you stand up on one leg. Okay, so you're standing up on one leg. So uh, let's talk about standing up on one leg. Okay, when you stand up on one leg, what you want to do is you want your standing foot to be 45 degrees because that gives you your best balance. So if I'm going to kick over there, my standing foot is 45 degrees here, and then I'm going to kick out there. The stepping is different also. But when you're talking about the kicking itself, what Master Yang would like is 
that when you lift up your foot here, let me go this way. He would like you to go at least parallel to the ground. Can you see that? And better yet, higher. So the if I'm facing you and I have my foot up, I am slightly, my foot is slightly more toward the center. Can you see that? I'm essentially protecting my center. So I don't know how to show this to you. Okay, so I'm here and I'm protecting the center of my body. So it's essentially to protect against a groin kick. So you're standing, no matter whether you're doing a heel kick, a separation kick, you, your standing is always here. And the difference between the separation kick and the heel kick is at the kick itself, which is at the um, point of contact. So when you're kicking, for a separation kick, your contact point is here. It's like at your shoelaces, okay? So you're kicking with your toe pointed because your contact point is at the shoelaces. When you do a, a heel kick, you come up the same way, but then you turn your foot and then you kick with the heel of your foot. So it feels kind of like a stomp, except it's out, of course. And um, so it exercises for doing uh, separation kicks if you don't have very good balance. Okay, so you can start really simply in that, make sure you have your standing leg at 45 degrees and then start like at a T-step, okay? And just stand by the kitchen counter and lift up just a little bit. And then as you get better, lift up a little higher. And try to point your toe in. Now, he says that he likes you to, to have your knee so that your thigh is parallel to the floor, but it doesn't mean that your kick has to be there. So I can have my, but then I can kick here. Can you see that? I, I came up here, but I'm only kicking here. And that's perfectly fine. So don't extend yourself beyond where you feel comfortable. I don't want you losing your balance and falling over uh, while you're attempting to kick, okay? So whatever you're comfortable doing, in fact, if you can't, if you don't feel comfortable standing up on one leg, just like stand with your toe down and then just kick a little bit instead of coming here, kicking and coming back. So that's on the kicking part. Um, in a way, uh, there is a yin and yang to this in that you have your lower body and your upper body. The lower body part is pretty easy to describe, but relatively hard to do. The upper body is relatively hard to describe, but easy to do. So um, if we do the lower body first, so you are at high pad on horse. I'm gonna do it toward you. Okay, so at the end of high pad on horse, you were in an empty stance on ball touch, right? So this is the first time you're going to have 
uh, this type of stepping, which is like zigzag stepping, which you use more in the third section and in weapons. And heretofore, whenever you had an empty stance or a bow stance, the relationship between your two feet was that one was at 45 degrees and the other one was straight. In this case, when you step out, you're not going to step out to a bow stance, which would be here. You're actually going to be stepping out a little bit like this. You're not quite to the corner. It's like halfway between the corner and straight. So the angle between your feet is wider than any of the stances you have had until now. Does that make sense? So you're stepping, instead of stepping out of a bow stance, which would be here, you would be stepping a little bit more that way. You're going to be stepping out here, but not all the way to the corner. Okay, so you go from an empty stance to this uh, more than a uh, bow stance, but it's still shoulder width apart, okay? So if I put my feet parallel to each other and I pull back, I still get shoulder width apart. It's just that the angle is different. Can you see that? So what happens is you are going from an empty stance, you're going to step out, and then you're going to shift your weight all the way to the front foot. Then you're going to stand up and then you're going to kick and come back. And that's all there is to it for the footwork. So it's pretty simple to describe. So do you wanna practice that a couple of times and then we'll go work on the hands? Okay, so from in the direction you would be doing it, you would be here, and then you would come in, step out, all the way to the front, stand up, and kick. And that's it. Now the hands are a little more complicated. I'll show you the whole move so that you can get an overview of what it looks like. So what happens is that when you're at high pad on horse, you're going to separate and then cross and then pull, pull apart. Then you're going to cross, stand up, and kick. So the um, things that are complicated about this is that until now, you really didn't do much circling in this dimension, okay? You did cloud hands in this dimension, but here you are doing a circling in this dimension. So here, your hands separate and then they circle, cross, and then they pull apart, okay? And the important thing about when you come together and you cross, this hand stands up, okay? You're no long, remember when you were high pad on horse, this hand was kind of flat because you were hitting somebody in the throat with the side. When you come around, when you get here, you stand up, okay? And then you separate. And this looks a little bit like rollback in terms of the shape, except that in rollback, this hand is low. Now, 
you want to be at the same level. Good. Carol Ann. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you, Carol Ann. <laughs> you have to unmute. Unmute. And push the push the space button bar. Let me see if I can get you. I do not know how to unmute you. You have to press the space bar to unmute I, yourself. Okay, I was just saying that I didn't raise my hand on purpose, but oh. I do want to let you know that this is this is one part that I have always messed up on. So I'm trying to follow you very carefully because every time I do it following you or Nancy, I do it and then I get by myself and I go, where the heck are my hands and where are they going? So. <laughs> okay, let's do one hand at a time. Okay, let's look at your left, your right hand. Okay, so uh, if I do it on this from the side, maybe it's easier for you to see. Okay, so when you were at high pad on horse, your hand was out here. Okay, so you're going to make a circle and then stand it up when you get here. And then you're going to come out. So if I'm facing you, you were at high pad on horse. Mm -hmm. I come out. I stand it up when I hit, hit here. And then I go straight out. With the left hand. Okay, I was here. Okay, I am going to make a circle in the same direction. So both of these are going to be clockwise. Okay, except this one, the palm is up. So this one is going to be up. So when they come together, it looks like they separate, then they cross and then they pull apart so it's so you can see why i i describe it as sort of like rollback because mm -hmm. the left hand is up and the right hand is in the strike position okay does that make sense so yes. the, the reason it's often confusing is because you're doing it with footwork and then you're doing all these waist turns at the same time. And so it's somewhat disoriented. So when you're here, you're opening. And then what happens is when you open, you start pulling the left foot in. And then when you close, that's when you make, you, you touch, your, your heel touches, okay? Then you're, you transfer your weight, heel, ball, toe, as you do this pulling. Okay, let's do that again. So you're here, you're separating your arms. Okay, left hand up, right hand down. Okay, you pull in your left foot and as you cross, you step almost to the corner. Okay, then as you shift weight toward the left, you separate your arms. So once again, you're at empty stance, okay, high pad on horse. Then you open your arms, then pull in your left foot, cross and step, 
Separate and shift weight. I pat on horse. Open arms. Pull in the left foot. Cross and step. Separate and shift weight. Does that help? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so after that, okay, you've done this, you've pulled in, you crossed and step, separate and shift weight. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cross your hands. And this looks just like cross hands, except it's kind of toward the corner. Then once you've done that, you stand up and then you kick. So after you've crossed hands, you're going, when you kick, you're going to make these two symmetric circles. Okay, you want to be like this. Not super high, you know. When I told you um, when doing cloud hands not to uh, cover your eyes, well, you do sort of, but don't go above your forehead, you know. So think about two rainbows. You're making two rainbows coming out, okay. Um, and what makes it easier for you to do that is when you crossed your hands. So what happened was you were here, you came out, cross, and you shifted weight and you're going this way. Then when you cross, can you see just like cross hands? I have quite a bit of distance here. Okay, I don't want to be here. I want to be here so I can make my circles. If I'm too close, it's really hard for me to make a circle. Okay, so I want to be out and then I make my circle. Okay, so the coordination is that when I'm here, I come out, pull in the left leg, cross and step, shift weight and pull. Then I cross my hands. The kicking foot determines which hand is on the outside. I'm going to make a right kick. So the right hand goes on the outside. Then I stand up and then I circle and kick. Now, when I do the circle, the right hand is exactly over the knee of my kicking foot. So the direction of the hand and foot match exactly. Okay, so you're kicking in the same direction, okay? Uh, the, there are a number of matching points for this, which are actually quite important because they help you keep your balance. So when you're here, you come out, you pull in, you step and cross and you shift weight and separate. At this point, your left elbow should be over your left knee. Ooh. So think about, think about when you did ward off. Remember when you did ward off? This is a ward off. So when, whenever you do a ward off, when you did Left ward off, your left knee 
lined up with your left elbow. Well, this is the same thing, okay? So when you're here, you come in, step and cross. This is like a step and close, right? And then when you open, the left knee lines up with the left elbow. And this is a ward off hand. Okay, then when you cross, okay, your weight shifts toward the right, or toward the left, because you're going to stand up. Then you open and kick. Does that help? The... Uh, yeah. Um, the turning, the waist turning is. The what? waist turning follows the lead arm. Okay. So when I'm here, okay, I'm separating and I come here. I'm looking, following this arm. This is the arm that. Essentially, what you're doing is this is pulling and this is striking. So you're following this arm. Then when this crosses, you keep following here. So you're looking here. Then you stand up. Then you look. And then you kick. Better. It's... I, I, it is a little hard because um, your balance is so dependent on your sight. So what happens is very often when people get here and they look, they lose their balance, mm -hmm. you know? So for some people uh, in some of the later forms, like the senior form, what Master Young does is when you, when, as you're coming up, he has you looking instead of coming up and you're looking there and then you look there, you know, mm -hmm. but the traditional way is when you cross, you look through your cross, then you look where you're going to kick and then you kick. Okay. Yes. So, so it's, it's slightly more difficult this way, but the traditional way is this way. So you cross, look, basically you stand up, look and kick. So are there any questions? We should just practice it a few times. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Can you practice a couple with the way we are facing? Because sometimes our okay. your arms so, are opposite and I get a little confused. Okay. So um, if we do it from the direction would be if if I had started here, okay, at the end of high pattern horse, I would be facing this way. Okay. So what happens is I open, pull in, cross and step. Then I shift weight and pull apart. Then I cross my arms, stand up, look, and then I kick. Does that help? Uh, let me let me do it a few other directions and maybe that would help. Let's see. If I do it from this direction, then cross, stand up, and then kick.
When you end, are both your palms out? On Actually, both, no. On both hands? At, when I end, um, there, the ending should be like, here, I'll show you. I'll show you facing you. Okay, I'm coming in, cross and step. Shift weight separate. Cross arms. Stand up, look, kick, and the hands come like this. So this hand is up. This hand is down by your shoulder. I don't know, can I move down maybe here? Okay, so once again, I'm here. I open, cross and step, separate and shift weight, cross arms, stand up, kick, and then hands come. Left hand is at the shoulder, right hand is facing up. So you have it the opposite way, Karen. I'll do it this way, here. Okay, so if I'm here, I stand up, I kick, and my hands are like this. Can you see this is by my shoulder, palm down, and this is palm up? Yeah. And the reason is it's the transition to the next one. You're gonna do another circling. And that's why your hands are in that position. So the out hand, the hand is up. The in hand, the hand is down. Any questions? So, okay, let me do it one more time. Open, and foot comes in, step and close. Shift weight open, cross hand. Stand up, kick, and then you come in like this. So this is by your shoulder. I don't know. I'll stand closer here. Can you see this is by my shoulder and this is up? I'll tell you, I'll show you why. Okay. So if I did the whole thing, okay. I'm coming like this. I cross, I stand up, I kick. My next move is, and I'm going to kick on the other side. So getting your hands there is getting ready for the next series of circles. And that's why the end of the first separation kick ends that way. So think in terms, you're gonna make another set of circles. And that's why your palms are kind of faced toward each other. So which direction works best for you? Should I do it the way I would do it if from, if I had started with my back toward you? For me, that's easier to follow, but that's just me. Okay, let's try it that way. Okay, I would be in this direction then. Okay. So we're going to open our hands, pull in the left foot, step and close. Your hands are crossed. Don't forget to stand up your right palm. Then shift weight and open. Then 
Cross hands. Stand up. Kick. Pull your hands in. Trying to think if okay, let's try it again. You're at high pad on horse. Open your hands, pull in your left foot, step and close, shift weight, open, cross hands, stand up. Kick. Any questions? So your right hand, when you kick, you it's out. When do you turn it over so that's palm up? Oh, so okay. So what happens is. I'm pulling here. When I cross and stand up, my hand is out. And then as I pull in, this comes in and this comes to the shoulder. So you're here, you stand up, you kick. So as you pull your foot back in, then you're turning your hands. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you crossed, you stood up, you kick, and then does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it a few more times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at high pad on the horse. Then we open our arms and pull in the left foot. We close and step. We shift weight and separate. We cross arms. Stand up, look, kick, bend knee. Okay, from high pad on horse again. Okay. Circle arms out, pull in the left foot, step and close, shift weight, separate, cross arms, look up uh, between your crossed arms, stand up, look, kick, turn your hand. Open, step and close, shift weight, oh, uh, separate, cross arms, look to the corner, stand up, look, kick, bend knee, shift arms. How does that feel? You want to try it from a single whip? We'll do single whip, iPad on horse, and then separation kick. Okay? So we'll be single whip in this direction. 
high pad on horse, shift back, activate your hands all the way to the right as your hand comes to the shoulder, plant the ball and strike. Separation, uh, um, right separation kick, okay? Open your arms. Step and close. Shift weight, separate. Cross arms. Stand up. Look. Kick. Bend knee, turn hands. Okay. Let's do that a couple more times and then we will do it from the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna start from separate, uh, from high pad on horse. We're going to open, pull in, step and close, shift weight, separate hands, cross hands, stand up, look, kick, Bend knee, turn hands. Okay, high pad on horse. Circle arms, pull in left foot. Step and close. Shift weight, separate. Cross arms, stand up, look. Kick, bend knee, turn hands. Are there any questions or any parts that you would like to work on more? Can you tell me what the weight distribution is throughout that move? How much weight do you put in? Okay, so. In the beginning, it's an empty stance. So it's 70% in the back and 30 in the front. Okay. As you circle, you're pulling in the left foot. So all the weight is on the right, right? Correct, yes. And then you're stepping. When you're stepping, you don't have any weight on the left yet. Your weight is still mainly in the back. Then okay. as you move your weight forward, you separate. Okay. okay, so now you're 60, 40. It's kind of like a bow stance, even though your feet don't look like a bow stance. Yeah. Then you come in, your weight hasn't changed. Then everything is on the standing leg, right? Yep. yep. Then you kick. Standing leg, standing leg. Standing yep. leg. Okay. It's all on the standing leg. Okay, thank you. So, uh, un unfortunately, there's no avoiding standing on one leg in this one. Yeah. So I just wondered how much weight, when you first move your left foot to step out, how much weight you're putting on it the first time you step out. And then you're, when you, yeah. You're not putting much weight. Think about it this way. When you're doing like a swing step, Okay, when you put your foot out, there's nothing there. Okay. Then you're shifting weight, right? Okay. So the weight doesn't move until you actually go, yeah. The weight okay. doesn't move until you're actually separating. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of waist turn in this in that you're here, okay, here, and then as you step and cross, you're looking toward the corner. And then as you shift weight, you're looking toward the other corner. Then you come back to the first corner. You stand up, look, kick. So you're looking does change it a lot. But your, your hips are basically forward until you stand up to kick. 
Yes. I got yes. it. Okay. Think of uh, think of your lower body being your base. Even when you're doing high pad on horse, okay? I'm leaning slightly forward, but it's from my hips, okay? Mm -hmm. yes. My base is still pretty, pretty standard, uh, pretty straight. Okay. Thank you. So when you're doing a uh, high pad on horse, what happens is most of your weight is on the back and uh, you have 30% weight on the front. But what your 30% weight on the front is doing is it's restraining your body from pitching forward. You see what I'm saying? When your energy is going forward, you're uh -huh. putting this 30% so that you don't go too much forward. Okay, okay. So after that, when you open, it's you same. pull in and left you foot. step. Left foot. Okay, then you cross uh -huh. first and then stand up. Okay. Kick. Yep. Okay. I see it. <clears throat> oh. I know this is kind of a hard one. I will grant. Mostly the balance of it the hardest. Yeah, most of it is the balance. But other than that, are there any questions? <laughs> Let's do it a couple of more times. I was thinking of doing it from the beginning, but since this is such a hard book, I'll do it one more time and then we'll do it from the beginning, okay? So we're doing it one more time from high pad on horse, okay? Then open, pull in the left foot, step and close, Shift weight, uh, open your hands, cross your hands, stand up, look, kick, turn your hands, foot comes in. Okay, we'll do it from the beginning. So starting at cross hands. Cross hands, shift right, turn the left foot almost to straight. Shift your weight back, separate your hands, pull in the right foot, swing, step, brush, strike, roll back. Circle your arms, weight goes back, turn to the side. Press, pull in the left, attach, pull in the right, attach the left, and press forward. Push, separate your hands, square your shoulders, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, push. Fist under elbow, shift weight back, flatten your palms, pull and turn. Press down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, push out with the right. Step to the corner with the left, connect, step right, grab. Pivot the left, pull down the left, and make your fist. Root the left heel, lift and punch. Step back and repulse monkey. One, swing, step, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Three, swing, step, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Diagonal flying, 
turn, pull in the right, step and close, open and pivot the left foot. Raise hands and step forward. Move right, circle your arms, root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down all the way to the back. Circle, step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Needle at sea bottom, heel forward, pull in the back foot. Pull back, pushing off your left heel, change your footwork, sink. Pan through the back, come up, attach the left to the right, push up, step, separate. Turn body chop with fist. Circle your arms, turn your left foot. All the weight comes to the left, make your fist. Root, chop, strike. Harry block and punch. Hands come to the center, swing, step. Parry, block, punch. Shangbu. Open your left toe to the corner. Pull with the left, ward off with the right. Ward off, right. Roll back. Turn to the corner, shift your weight back. Turn to the other corner. Press. Pull back the right, attach the left. Press forward. Push. Square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, roll over a ball, hands in front of your chest, push up. Single whip. Weight back, flatten your hands, turn, pull, push down, release the left foot, ward off with the left hand, hook hand with the right. Standing ward off step, strike. Cloud hands. Move to the right. Ward off with the uh, right, pull with the left, pull in the foot. One. Pull with the right, ward off with the left. Pull with the left, ward off with the right, two. Pull with the right, ward off with the left. Pull with the left, ward off with the right, three. Single whip. Make your hook hand, ward off, strike. High pad on horse. Push off your left heel, activate your hand. Hand comes to the shoulder, all the weight is on the left. Root the left ball and strike. Right separation kick. Circle your arms. Close and step. Shift weight, separate. Cross your arms, stand up, look, kick, bend knee. How's that? Good. Practice yes. and <laughs> practice some more. <laughs> <laughs> Just practice some more. <laughs> And then next week, we'll do the mirror image. We'll do the other side. <laughs> and we'll practice a lot more of this one, too. But uh, 
Thank you, because of the hand thing, that's the one thing I have missed for some reason or another, or forgotten, one of the two. <laughs> it's, it's complicated because when you're circling around, you don't, you, you start by separating, and then you don't realize that they're both going clockwise. You think that they're going this way, but that's not true. So you separate, and then they're actually going clockwise, both of them, and then you separate. Thank you very much, Rita. I appreciate oh, it. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is a complicated move because there's so many parts to it. It there are so many parts. New. Body parts, yeah. yeah. They're all new, and it just keeps going, and then it did, and it's like, wow, that's a lot to remember. Yeah, that's why I, I'm really I'm figuring the next two classes for doing separation kick. So I'm going to do a lot of review, and then the next I'll start to introduce the other separation kick, but then. Um, then I'm going to take off the week after that. And Cheryl is going to teach you the turn, which is the hardest, in my view, <laughs> one of the hardest moves <laughs> in Tai Chi. I mean, uh, there are people who think uh, that move and maybe the lotus kick in the third section are considered the hard moves. But the trick. The reason, the thing is, I really want you guys to work on like standing by your kitchen counter, standing on one leg and really trying to get your balance because the turn really requires that you have good yeah. balance. Yeah. Essentially, you're gonna make your body into like a top and you're gonna spin around. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. laugh. <laughs> Not this girl. <laughs> well, in theory, that's the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> Put me on a pair of ice skates and I'll do it. <laughs> Is it going to be like a top in that if you don't have enough speed, you fall over? Yeah. Yeah, there is a little bit of that. And what happens is you have to remember to start from your waist. So people think that, oh, you put your foot out and you're doing it with your leg. You're not. You're doing it from, from your upper body and it goes all the way around. Okay. I'll worry about that in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we'll <laughs> That's right. That's right. right now. Cheryl will teach you all about it. She is really good at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course think of it this way she's like half my age so I don't feel so bad <laughs> <laughs> there's that <laughs> so thank you very much for coming to thank class you. thank, thank you. you Rita and I look forward to seeing you either Friday if you can come at 3 o'clock practice or next week Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Rita. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.